All right, you're ready to start your cardio, you're ready to lose weight, and you know exactly what kind of piece of equipment you're gonna use. You're gonna use the treadmill. So today's video, it's all about how do you lose weight the best way with the treadmill. Let's go. All right, so let's start from the very beginning. What kind of warm up are you gonna do with the treadmill? Now, anywhere between five and 10 minutes is a good general warm up, and I think that it's best to slowly increase the speed uh, of which that you're gonna be doing your workout. So you gotta plan ahead. In the beginning, it's kind of hard, but if you're gonna do five miles an hour, maybe do two minutes at three, two minutes at four, and then the last two minutes at four and a half. And then once you're at five, you're gonna really start, you are be done warming up and you really push and get that heart rate up and that's just an easy way to get started, but there's no real best way to do it. The What you don't wanna do is just start running or sprinting as soon as you get on the treadmill. You wanna get your heart adapted and lungs ready for the workout and your muscles too, because if your muscles are cold, there is a higher risk for injury. So take it slow, take five to 10 minutes, get your mind right and body right and get ready to hit it hard. All right, so our first group of people are our walkers. We're gonna start with the walkers first in this video. So really walking, you're limited with the speed, but you're not limited with the incline that you can push with walking. So honestly, I really enjoy walking at about four miles an hour and then really trying to uh, increase the incline, maybe four degrees, five degrees, uh, even a little bit to start is good. Um, but you, what you don't realize is another tip is when the incline is at zero, you actually might be going at a slight downhill. So if you're outside, you're like, wow, why am I so good inside? And then outside, it's so much harder where outside is just more of an incline than you're used to uh, on the treadmill. So play with the incline, try to figure out, you know, how do you get your heart rate up where it's kind of hard to hold the conversation, but you can, that's like your, that's like the sweet, sweet spot. And you'll feel it once you get there, you want to try to hold it for the amount of time that you're going for. But I would try to slowly each week increase the incline and go from there and just enjoy the workout. All right, runners. And this is for somebody who is just starting with running. This is not for somebody who runs marathons, runs 5Ks regularly. This is for somebody just starting out on the treadmill that feels their body can handle light running. Now, this, you don't wanna mess with the incline. You wanna to try to keep it zero to one and you wanna just get it again so you can mess with the speed at which you can maintain a, a light jog and worry about the heart rate and getting through the allotted time or distance that you're trying to accomplish in the workout. Now, there's no wrong way to go when it comes to should I be go distance or time. Um, it's more about the feel and more about can I come back the next day. So with cardio, you definitely do not want to be sore and crippled the next day. That means you definitely overdid it. You want to be able to be able to move every day. And I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to cardio is yes, push. Yes, get your heart rate up, get sweating. But at the same time, don't be so crippled the next day and sore or, oh my God, that was a crazy workout. I'm never doing that again. You don't want to feel like that. So take it slow and you want to try to make running and cardio your friend and you want to enjoy it so that way you can continue literally forever so you can get in shape, stay in shape and stay moving and just be healthy because who doesn't want to be healthy and move, you know, forever. So take it slow, start with low speed. And the biggest thing I can say is this isn't a race you're facing it's you versus you. So you want to, no matter if you're having a bad day and you know, let yesterday's workout, I did five miles an hour and now I can only do 4.5 or four. So, Hey, it's fine. Start low, start slow and keep going. And just know that in the end, 
you're going to get to where you want to go because you're taking the steps necessary to further your health and fitness and become a better person because of it. Everybody, do your cardio. Don't worry about losing muscle so much as worry about moving and getting in shape because if you're in shape it's easier to build muscle and you'll have the motivation to come to the gym to do the things that's necessary to reach your results so that's it for this video to summarize it please just start doing cardio don't worry about the small minor details am i losing too much muscle am i doing the perfect exercise for me blah 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 all that really doesn't matter if you're not doing the work. So just do just do workouts, let it compound over time. It's a very slow process. And trust me, you'll feel so much better. And don't wait, don't, don't procrastinate. Don't say, oh, I gotta wait till later. I gotta wait till Monday. I gotta wait till next month. I gotta wait till New Year's. Don't do that. Just get started. Don't worry about the small stuff and uh, you'll get to your results. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this kind of content and I hope to see you guys in the next video.